Know today that your pastor is a thief. Welcome back to Honest Africa Initiative. My name is Israel Goodness Balogo. And I've been seeing a video on the internet where the man of God who was supposed to be one of the leading voices of the gospel in Nigeria is encouraging his member to leave the country. Of course, it is heartbroken to know that such thing can come out from the pulpit. And now you may want to see the video I'm talking about. Look at it. Christ, I bring you greetings from Pastor Ifai, who's busy taking care of the frontier of our world and preparing our escape route. <laughs> if you don't have a plan B, I know you have faith, but I have faith too, but I have a plan B. And with technology, I can speak to you from anywhere in the world. <laughs> Get yourself a plan B, whether that's an Okada to Cameroon, or a flying boat or speedboat as we call them, to semi border or, you know, a hole in the ground, a bunker. Uh, get a plan B, because these people are crazy. They're nutters, the whole bunch of them. I mean, that is the video where the man of God was asking his members to have a plan B in order for them to escape from the horror, I mean, assumption terrors that is coming in the land. It baffles me when I hear such things from the pulpit because we are not in any form representing the one we claim to have called us into ministry. What did the world, what did the same person that we're supposed to represent say is about such action? This is what Jesus has to say to us as a believers in his word. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 11, he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd give his life for the sheep. Verse 12. But a hireling, he who is not a shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming, leave the sheep and flee. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatter them. Verse 13, the hiring flee because he is hiring and does not care about the sheep. That's exactly what the word of God says and speak and say about our actions when we turn our back to the people we are supposed to defend in the day of trouble. When the man of God spoke in that manner in his con to his congregation, in that congregation, 90% of the people sitting down in that room does not have a means of escaping. Many of them cannot take, does not even have a common passport, talk less of leaving their country. So what happened to those who could not take their passport and travel? If the man of God has said, I have faith, but I've also got a plan B, and I can be in anywhere in the country, in the world, and speak to you. That suggests to me that the life of the man is more important than the sheep he is being called to shepherd. And so the man is willing to leave you behind, to make sure that you don't, he doesn't care if you're alive or you're dead. All he's cared about is, he's going to ship out himself and his family. And then if there is any war, you will be killed. And when the war settled, he will come back and continue the ministry. Jesus said, you are a thief. You are not representing me. Let even imagine your congregation can have a passport to run away. What about these children I'm showing you right now? What about these children? Who will help them? Who will take them out of the country? Who will save them? Who is going to stand for them? Who is going to be their own defender? Are you saying they can die for who cares? Or is this not your responsibility or our responsibility as a believer to defend the poor, to clothe the naked, to visit those who are in the prison and the hospital? In the day of war, we cannot turn our back. We will rather stand our ground and tell the world, this is our land, this is our country, this is our nation. We are going to defend our nation. We are going to stand our ground and make sure peace reign in this country. A man like you shouldn't tell anyone to escape. Because when people leave their father's land for other land, they are merely going there 
to become a slave. God didn't give us this land because he never has a plan. I am part of the plan. He brought me into this country because there is something that is in this country that he wants me to do. And if we heed to your advice, it means we should abandon the plan of God and flee because we want to live. What is life without the fulfillment of the purpose? Should we turn our back to our nation because a zooming terror that is not even anywhere is coming? Should we abandon those, the weak, the women, the younger ones, the poor, the needy, and we that could take our passport and escape, leaving them behind so that we will be able to live? Do you really believe in Christ, you preach? It is time for you, listeners, to know that the will of God for us as a people of this country is to stand in the day of trouble. If you turn your back now, you have failed God. You have failed your nation. We need to team up and make sure Nigeria become a great nation again. The next time we have opportunity to talk on this platform, I remain is Dragulis Balogun. Don't forget to share my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Wholeness Africa Initiative. And I will see you next time. God bless you. Shalom.